Yes, uh, good morning all. I am Dr. Aditya Bhardwaj, Assistant Professor, Department of CSC, KIT Group of Institution, Kajewal. So in this lecture series, I will discuss one important topic that is software as an evolutionary entity from Unit 5 Software Engineering. So friends, now uh, what is the need of this topic? As we all know that uh, once software is developed, then from initial stage to final stage, due to the surrounding environment, there are a lot of changes going on. So if lot of changes are going on, then there is a need for continuous update of your respective software. So in this topic, first we will go for what is software evolution, then I will illustrate software maintenance process. So these are the contents. First, we will discuss software as an evolutionary entity, then necessity of software evolution, after that what is software maintenance, need for software maintenance and finally references. So the term evolution has been used with reference to software since 1960 to signify the growth dynamic of software. So software evolution is a term which referred to the process of developing software initially then timely updating it. So uh, if I illustrate this point, basically once you have developed your software initially then due to the surrounding environment number of versions are changing from time to time. So these versions may be your, up due to your software update, these we may be due to your even hardware update also, this may be due to your technology updates also. So there is a need for software evolutionary process. So the process of change implementation is an iteration of the where revision to the system are implemented and tested. So it is a basically iteration process where updation has to be done in respective software once surrounding environment is changing. Now what is the necessity of software evolution? Due to first is due to environment change and second because of security risk. So if we illustrate environment change as the working environment changes, the things that enables to work in that environment also changes. So let us understand this point with a suitable example. Now if we if we have developed your software in 2020 by using some machine learning techniques. Now, as we all know, over the period of time, number of te techniques are changing. After some time, let us say you want to shift your project on deep learning. So, due to this surrounding environment, because of technology change, you have to shift your project from machine learning to deep learning environment. Second one is security risk. Using outdated software within an organization may lead to you at the verge of various software-based cyber attacks and could expose confidence in the data with the software that is in use. Suppose you have basically developed a software by using existing packages of security mechanism. Now after some time if you find out that there is a need for updation of your packages then you have to implement basically those packages also. So security also a major pillar or you can say it is a also a major point in order to go for software evolution. Now after this software evolution discussion, we find out that one software is developed and things are changing in the surrounding environment over a period of time. So you need to basically go for maintenance from time to time basis. Now, in, from this slide onwards, let us understand basic overview of software maintenance. Now, so, this software maintenance, it is the last stage of software development lifecycle model. So, what are the phases of software development lifecycle model? First stage is requirement analysis, second one is design, third one is coding, which is basically by default understood in this design phase after you are having testing and then finally we are having maintenance phase. So this maintenance phase is the last stage of software development lifecycle model. 
maintenance phase keeps the software up to date with requirements so these requirements changes because of your surrounding environments so these requirement changes because of your technologies it may be in terms of your software requirements it may be in terms of your hardware requirement so whenever there are changes in requirement then you need to upgrade your software if we understand this point with a suitable example suppose friends you have developed a software by using your big data analytic technique and if you have developed this software for data analysis point of view currently you are using hadoop platform for your project now in future if you are finding that hadoop platform is not serving your purpose then you need to shift your software from hadoop to next upcoming technology in beta big data environment so you may shift your project to spark like peak and hive environment so basically whenever there is requirement of changes in environment due to your technologies due to your software versions due to upgrades in hardware due to even a uh, requirement of customer also so you have to go for maintenance phase and you need to update your previous version of your software this software maintenance itself consumes about 40 to 70% of the cost of the entire life cycle model maintenance can only happen efficiently if the early phases are done properly so uh, this point means if we see previous phases of maintenance that means from starting of software development till ending of your software development phase so like if requirement phase is completed successfully design phase is completed successfully coding phase is completed successfully and finally testing phase is completed successfully then definitely maintenance phase will also give you fruitful results now let us discuss a suitable example suppose you have not done your testing phase appropriately so what will happen if you have left out some bugs in your software so definitely once you deliver that software to the respective client then lot of errors will be coming after delivery of your product during the implementation phase so when customer will go for uses of that software so there are already errors have been left out in testing phase so maintenance overhead will be there even after delivery of your software so that's why if we see software maintenance point of view earlier phases of software development life cycle model should be implemented accurately so software maintenance it is a very broad activity that includes error corrections it may be error correction in terms of your syntax error error correction in terms of your logical error also enhancement of capabilities it means whenever there is need for updation of some software components then you need to implement those updated version deletion of obsolete capabilities this point means whenever you find out that previous version of component in your respective software is not working properly then you can go for deletion of those previous version and finally optimization so these are the basically different domains where the software maintenance is needed now if we see standard definition of the software maintenance then as per ieee it is a modification of software product after delivery to correct faults to improve performance or other attributes or to adapt the product to modify environment so definitely software maintenance phase is needed over a period of time once software is completely successfully now what is the need for software maintenance this phase is needed for to correct errors change in user requirement with time changing hardware software environment to improve system efficiency suppose you have basically developed a software by using your traditional model of computing now if your software is developed by using existing traditional order of architecture and in future if your client wants to shift their software to cloud environment so the user requirement is changing 
and you need to shift that software to cloud environment so your maintenance team has to update the existing software for cloud environment so that's why whenever there is requirement of hardware changes software environment changes and even if you need to improve efficiency of your software user requirements are changing and there is need for correction of errors then you have to go for maintenance phase so maintenance team has to implement appropriate maintenance procedure for the respective software further if you are, if you are willing for to optimize the code to run faster so if there is need for optimization of source code of software then you have to go for maintenance phase to modify the components and to eliminate any unwanted side effect in the software thus maintenance is needed to ensure that system continues to certify user requirements so these are the references for this lecture series first one is the software engineering third edition by new age international publisher author k k agrawal and yogesh singh third second book that is refer is software engineering a practitioner approach by pressman and bros or maxim fifth edition tata megraphy so thank you all